What's up guys, today we will be tackling on how to create and animate a corrosion effects. Hi, this is Randy from Rans Graphics and welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to create a metal corrosion animation inside After Effects. So without any further ado, let's go and see what we are gonna be creating. Don't forget to download the project file so that you can follow along with me, okay? I already have inserted all the assets inside After Effects so all I have to do is to create a new composition and I will name it Logo Alpha 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click OK and I will go to my project panel and open the assets folder go to image and drop down this hazard png image on my timeline and I will go to effects and preset go to generate fill on it I will change the color to white I will highlight this one and press on my keyboard s for the scale and change the value here to about 50% We'll create another composition and we will name it Level Alpha. Same 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Go to the project panel and drop down this logo alpha. Go to layer, layer styles and go to inner glow. Expand inner glow, make this color black. Make the blending mode normal, make the size 15 and the opacity 100%, make the technique precise. I will close this one and I will create another composition and I will name it logo manipulation. Nine twenty by 1080p, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration, click OK. Go to your project panel and drop down the bevel alpha and also the logo alpha on your timeline. Go to your project panel and open assets folder image and drop down this RG bare metal text image. And right away I will pre-compose it. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. I'll go to effects and preset, find e stylize and CC glass. Open the surface, change the bump map to bevel alpha, softness is 0, displacement must be 0. Open the light and change this effects light to AE lights so we can make our own lights. Close it, cut it perfectly with our logo. All we have to do is to go back to effects and preset, go to channel, set matte and make the set map change here to logo alpha you can see in here if i will zoom it it's perfectly cut right then i will go to layer and create a new light and i want it first the parallel light and the color is white click ok i will again go to layer create a new light and i want it ambient light at 50 percent and the color is white click ok I will add another light. I will call it point light at 100% intensity. And I will click OK. So now I will highlight the parallel light and press P on my keyboard for the position. Move it probably on the center. And then move it up. Move it backwards away from the camera. And also highlight the point light and press P on your keyboard for the position and change the position of your light probably on the left side and move it backwards again away from the camera 
and also go back to layer and go to light settings and i will change the color this one probably orange just to create a little bit of an accent on it click ok i think that's good enough and then i will close it then i will go again to my project panel and drop down the rg texture in my timeline so i will pre-compose it right away move all the attributes and click ok and i will add curves on it make it a little bit darker this is good enough for me i will highlight this rg bear composition and i will duplicate it i will put it down under the rg bear comp one i'll just change this name to shadow then i will go to effects and preset and go to blur and sharpen I will add CC Rachel Blur and change the type to Fading Zoom. I will change the amount probably minus 8. As you can see there is a blur on this one. So all I have to do is to also add another effect called Tint. And I will move this tent up on the Rachel Blur and change the map white to black. So now as you can see in here it already changes to black. Add another effect called curves and change the channel to alpha, crank the alpha up. So it's good me. Because our logo is too smooth, all we have to do is to add some more random roughness on the surface on it. So all we have to do is to lock first this composition and disable this bevel alpha and the logo alpha and double click the bevel alpha put this bevel alpha composition on the other side so now we have two panels to preview whatever effects that we will apply on the bevel alpha will reflect right away on this logo manipulation so now i will go to layer and a solid and i will name it rock raffin click ok I will go to effects and preset, go to noise and grain, add fractal noise. I will change the fractal type to max and the contrast 80 and the brightness minus 15. I will also change the blending mode here to add. So now you can see there's a kind of distortion in here. And again I will go to layer, add a new solid again. And I will name it Corrosion. And I will click OK. I will go to Effects and Preset again. And I will find Noise and Grain. And again add Fractal Noise. And I will change the Fractal Type to Turbulent Basic. And I will change the value of the brightness to about 60. So as you can see in here, so I will just change the blending mode here to multiply. And I will go to effects and preset and add color correction curves. Move it down a bit. So it brightens the corrosion, right? We will animate this corrosion. All we have to do is to first close these ones. So that we have more rooms to work at go to effects and preset and add a transition go to black dissolve i will make this transition completion to 100 percent and then create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch in here and move my play it forward to about eight seconds but it's up to you guys if you will put your playhead anywhere in this timeline but for me, I will just put it at the 8 seconds duration and I will make the transition completion to 0. So we will try to play it. All we have to do is to delete this one and unlock this composition. Go to manipulation and change the resolution here to half so it's easier. So it's faster to render. So let's try to play it let's see what happens so there we go look like a corrosion to me so we will now have an animation of a uh, corrosion a 
after this one we will add more elements on it and I will show you nice eh so all I have to do is to go back to project funnel so I will add some more elements on it all I have to do is to highlight the asset folder go to file and import the elements and go to footage and import this folder I will open this folder and drop it down to my timeline toggle the switches in here and make this blending mode add so as you can see in here that there's a composition that is not fitted on the original composition that we have all we have to do is to highlight it right click my mouse transform and fit to comb press T on my keyboard change the opacity here to about 50% and also the dust I will press T on my keyboard for the opacity and make it 50% I will just make this light enable the time remapping I'll just extend this layer to the end of my timeline and also I will move this keyframe here put it at the end of my timeline too so let's try to play it again So this is how it goes so our tutorial guys are done and uh, I hope guys that you will support me by subscribing and like comment and even press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading in the coming days okay thank you very much for watching and my thoughts for the day is that there's always a room for improvement and let your mind be always positive okay Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.